Hi folks, I'm Joe with Premier One Supply. The benefits of free ranging your flock in the backyard are many, but there are a few drawbacks, such as keeping them contained or keeping them out of certain areas. So we felt it was time to offer a backyard fence called the Henpen. It's a non-electrified mesh that installs without any tools and is very portable. So let's take a look at the new Henpen. So what do you receive when you order a Henpen? You will receive the non-electrified mesh. This comes in either 38 or 68 foot lengths. You will receive double spike posts to support the net and the number of posts is dependent on the length of the net you order. One gate post, a gate dock, caps for the post, and tent stakes and tie backs to support it at corner. So let's set it up. We'll start by laying out our netting. The first post we're going to install will be the gate post. We're going to weave it through from the bottom of the mesh through every other slot, like so. This may seem tedious, but it'll pay off in the end when you go to tension your fence. After that, I'll snap the side of the mesh into this gate clip, both top and center. Now I'm going to weave my first support post about three feet over. That'll give me a three foot gate. To install the support post, weave it through every other strand on the mesh, like so. Before I put my clip on, I'm going to hook the lowest strand over my double spike. And when you get to the top, insert your cap onto the post and string the mesh through the cap. Once we've put in our three foot gate, we now have about 65 feet remaining to the fence. So we'll put in a post about every seven to seven and a half feet. For easier handling of the fence prior to setting it up, I'm going to pick it up like a normal roll of electric netting by the post individually, and that folds the mesh in between. So just one post at a time until I have the whole fence picked up. Determine where you'd like to have the gate of your fence and insert the end post. And then roughly mark off the shape of the rest of your fence. And we'll have a few adjustments to make before the rest of the fence is up. With the fence roughly outlined, it's time to install the dock. My first step is to slide it onto my gate post and hook the lower strand of the fence around the hook at the bottom of the dock. The next step to installing the dock is simply inserting the stake into the holes of the dock and clip it in place. It's now time to set up the rest of the fence. To do so, just simply continue stepping in your post And for adequate eye appealing tension, it may take a few go rounds to get everything nice and tight. But so far, we're doing pretty good. Or I should say, pretty well. And unlike electrified netting, sagging and grass contact is not critical. But it's nice to have a pretty fence. Since I set up a relatively circular fence, I didn't have to use tent stakes or guy wires for added tension or support. But if I set up a rectangular fence, I would need to use those for that reason. And if I'm on uneven terrain, I would put a tent stake at the bottom strand here to help keep the bottom of the fence close to the ground. That way it'd be difficult for hens to lift up the bottom strand and go under. And now that I'm done, I need to get out of my pen. To do so, just simply use the gate Unsnap the clips, step on through, and reconnect. If you have any questions about electrified or non-electrified fencing, please give Premier a call at 1-800-282-6631 or visit our website at premieronesupplies.com. Have an excellent day.